So you're doing everything that you can. You're working on your self-concept. You're reprogramming your subconscious mind, but still nothing's happening. Or maybe you're manifesting some things, but not other things. And you're wondering why. There are some things that will never manifest until you do your shadow work. And the reason that that is so important is because there are still thoughts hidden deep in your subconscious mind that you are completely unaware of. And because those beliefs are still in there, your subconscious mind is not going to allow certain things to come through. And if you don't know what those blocks are, there's a very simple solution to figure it out. First, you need to figure out what exactly you're trying to manifest. And once you write that down, I want you to write down your why. Why do you want this thing? Why do you want this career? Why do you want this type of relationship? And after you've written all those reasons down, I want you to go even further. And when you do this, you'll find that what you're trying to manifest is not actually what you're trying to manifest. For example, say you're manifesting a luxury car or a big, beautiful home. You have to ask yourself, why exactly do you want this car? Why exactly do you want this type of house? What does it really mean to you? Maybe you want a big house because you just plan on having a big family. And if that's the case, ask yourself, why do you want a big family? What is that going to mean for you? What is that going to do? Or maybe you just want a luxurious home to feel a certain way. Why do you want to feel that way? In that case, you'd find that what you're actually looking for is status. But again, don't stop there, go deeper. This is what shadow work is. Why do you want status? What does that mean for you? What is that going to do? There is nothing wrong with wanting things like wealth, status, power, influence. The reason we think these things are wrong is because we've been conditioned to think they're wrong. You cannot constantly tell yourself that abundance is your birthright and think you're going to manifest money when subconsciously you are still associating abundance with greed. And I know right now the way I'm wording it, it sounds very simple because I'm basically telling you to just figure out the why of all your manifestations and then understand if you're properly manifesting the right things. But depending on what your blockages are, this type of shadow work can be extremely emotional. I'll just go ahead and tell you guys, I had a very unexpected shadow work moment yesterday where I was really focused on the things that I'm manifesting and getting to the root, everything that I'm telling you guys. And once I found the root beliefs that were in my subconscious that has been there for years due to childhood trauma, and don't worry, I'm not dropping my lore or trauma dumping on you guys. But I just want to let you guys know that once I figured out what my root problem was, I had the most intense crime session of my life. Doing shadow work is so beneficial for you because one, you're getting to the root of your limiting beliefs that you had no idea were there. Now you know what thoughts are holding you back and how to rewire those thoughts by creating new affirmations for yourself. And you're also holding space for any of that pain that may still be lingering in the body because that energy is still within you and you need to cry. You need to let it out. I know, I know it sucks, but it's so necessary. I know that sitting with your shadow can be very uncomfortable for some people, especially if you're the type of person that doesn't like to be alone, you don't like to be alone with your thoughts, you're never going to have the life that you want until you learn to really sit with yourself. Your subconscious mind is always going to be creating for you versus you going into your subconscious mind and co-creating a new life for yourself. Just in case you're feeling uncomfortable with having to face your shadow, after about an hour, I'm chilling with my cats and I decide to lay on the couch and I just felt this internal warmth and light and love within my body. The best way I could possibly explain this feeling is it felt like my higher self was giving me a hug from within and I could quite literally feel the energetic shift with myself. It's like two versions of me have just come together. Like I just merged into a new timeline because I did that work. I know that might sound weird, but that's just the best way I could explain it. I literally felt myself give myself love and shift into a new reality. So don't run from your shadow. Don't be scared to face it. So many of us have gone through so much trauma and obviously no one just wants to relive that. But once you understand that that trauma is still trapped within your own subconscious mind and you have to shine light on it in order to just really feel and let it out and also understand what blockages you're still having. Because as long as you keep avoiding your shadow, you're never gonna manifest the life that you want. And you're always going to be a victim of the trauma that's happened to you in the past. You always have the power to turn a new leaf. You always have the power to take your power back. 
No one will ever be able to do this for you. Face it, feel it, and send it love. And start telling yourself a new story. Because of the trauma you've had, you may have so many limiting beliefs that are stopping you from even just one manifestation you're trying to work on. And you have no idea that that's why it's not happening. And once all these limiting beliefs are highlighted to you, you now know what new affirmations to create for yourself as you're rebuilding your self-concept. And that's when I would recommend my ultimate favorite technique for reprogramming your subconscious mind. And that is listening to basically your own subliminals every single night. I do have an episode going in depth of how I create my own affirmation track, but to quickly sum it up, you basically make a list of your self-concept, all your affirmations. I basically make a master track of all my self-concept affirmations for just every area of my life. And then you record yourself speaking all these affirmations and put that track over a theta wave soundtrack. I will say this process is a little time consuming, but it's so worth it because once you're done, you're done. And now you don't really have to do much. You just have to listen to your own affirmations every single night. And each day you do this, you will literally notice your subconscious mind changing and your outer reality changing because of it. So it might take a little time to really write all that down, record it, edit it, but it's so worth it. It's like the easiest cheat code that I have personally found for reprogramming my subconscious mind. And I highly, highly recommend it. If this was helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a five-star rating if you're listening.